Hi everyone, it's Boonie. I wanted to talk about being gifted in regular classrooms and how sometimes it can be very frustrating for the gifted individual, the classmates, and the teacher um, going through this experience. Um, gifted people want to learn. Their whole purpose is to acquire information and then kind of compose new novel ideas and then ways to apply it in the future perhaps or just think of thought experiments that are really fun and just to think about the meaning of things and our human purpose and so when you're not stimulated in the classroom gifted people may sometimes behave in a way that seems like it's being disruptive like they may they might be asking tangential questions or seeking more that other students aren't asking for so it may seem like a challenge to the teacher's authority. It may seem like a disruption to the learning process of other students in the classroom. And it's also frustrating for the gifted individual who's not being challenged. They're not learning. They're probably absorbing information quickly when there is an hour left in the lesson. And so they're being very frustrated um, with not learning as much as their potential has. So um, some of the things that gifted individuals may be going through is um, frustration, um, a feeling of loss with potential because the environment is not nurturing um, this endless need for information and so it's really hard um, growing up like that. It's um, You can turn out in multiple ways. You can either learn to be quiet because you're sensitive and your teacher told you that you know don't challenge the status quo don't question just take this information and absorb it and then spew it out for a test or you can learn to be defiant and you get labeled as a defiant person and so there's there's endless configurations for how this can turn out but for some of us um, it's a very big disappointment to know that the school system does not cater to a lot of gifted individuals and so gifted programs can really help but for those who don't have access to gifted programs um, there is saying and there's also libraries you know to know that you have a gifted child um, or gifted yourself the library is your your playground it's it's like Disneyland for you um, I have some gifted friends who need to go to the library um, I love reading articles on the internet you know some friends who um, didn't grow up in the most nurturing environment for learning, they read whatever they could. Um, some of them had encyclopedias, so when they were thirsty for knowledge, they read those books from back to back. And for me, I grew up in an environment where, um, you know, hard work and, and a kind of blue-collar living was important, and practical application of knowledge was important. So my absorption of information was kind of stunted for a part of my life. But when I went to college, I wanted to learn everything. Um, it was the greatest gift that my parents could offer me. That ability to go to school and learn and choose what I wanted to learn was the hugest thing. I am so grateful. And um, access to books, the, the science library, and the, the different libraries in different departments was something that my brain was so happy. And so um, something to offer gifted people in your lives is books, knowledge, things that you think they wouldn't want to learn, but maybe they will. And um, the funny thing about going to the library is like, maybe they'll read bits and parts of it, of books, and maybe they'll keep other things on hand for future reference. And sometimes that just access and independence to learn on their own is the greatest gift you can offer someone. It may look like they might not value the book or they might skim through it, but... Um, I think it matters to to show that you understand and validate who a person is and if they you know that a gifted person likes to read giving them books is one of the best things you could ever offer someone because it means that you know who they are you accept them for who they are and that matters you know and it's very important so if you have a gifted child or know someone gifted in your life um, you know acknowledging that knowledge is important and maybe sharing information or books is one of the greatest things you can do to help them feel like their their worldview and their experiences matter. So I hope you guys have a great day and take care. Bye bye.